Hey YouTube, um, today is October 11th and today is National Coming Out Day and I decided to tell you guys my coming out story. So yeah, here it goes. So I first found out or figured out that I was gay, I guess you would say, um, when I was in sixth grade of elementary or grade school and I thought it was weird because most girls wanted to go out with guys and I thought I was weird so I didn't tell anyone and I would hold it in and I would convince myself to like guys but the guys I ended up liking were kind of feminine so it didn't really make sense to me and middle school, I guess you would say, or intermediate for us in Hawaii, um, my cousins came out, and all three of them are girls, and when they came out, my mom and brothers and my dad had some stuff to say about it, and they said that it was weird, and just the comments that they made about them was not very positive, so then that kind of scared me more to stay in the closet and I couldn't tell anyone all none of my friends knew that I was I, I kind of convinced everyone that I like guys and I told them that I went out with guys and yeah uh, quite a weird time for me when I entered high school my first my freshman and sophomore year was okay and then my junior year, I met some friends who were also gay, but didn't want to tell anyone, I guess. I think we all just gravitated toward each other. Like somehow we knew that we all were gay and we all just started hanging out. And that's how I met my first girlfriend. And we... I don't know. Uh, they were the first people that knew that I was gay because we all trusted each other and we all would just tell each other stuff. And I don't know. I thought it was really cool. And anyway, so I met this my first girlfriend and when we started talking and everything, um, I didn't know that we were going to end up going out, but we did. And my sister started to realize that I was talking to her a lot and stuff, so my sister would always ask me if she was my girlfriend and I always say no, because truthfully she wasn't, but I did like her, so I don't know, kind of, but I told my sister and she was okay with it, she was more like, if that's what you want then as long as you're happy that's fine with me, but if she hurts you I'm gonna hate her. <laughs> I love my sister and what helped also was hearing the satisfaction, not satisfaction, but hearing the confirmation from, from my sister that it was okay to be gay. It gave me a boost of confidence to want to tell my mom. So my senior year, I told my mom that I was gay and it was when I was three months into my relationship with my current girlfriend. And when I told my mom, it was when we were getting ready to leave our house to go to school because my mom would drop us off to school. So it was only my sis my mom and I in the car. And I was just sitting in the front seat and I was just like, Mommy, I have to tell you something. She's like, what, are you okay? And I was like, no, no, I'm fine. But I just wanted to tell you that that I have a girlfriend and she was like wait you have a girlfriend and I was like yes she's like how long and I was like about three months she's like and why didn't you tell me and I was like because I didn't know how you'd react and after that she's like okay so do I know your girlfriend and I was just like yeah you do we you see her all the time at our band concerts and stuff because I was in band but after I told my mom that, like, 
my mom told me, well, maybe this is just a phase and you'll get over it or something. And at the time, like when she told me that, I was like, okay, she's kind of disappointed in me and she doesn't think that this is okay, but she's okay with it because she's assuming that I'm just going through a phase. But how can I be going through a phase when I know that I'm gay from the time that I'm in, like, how old is that? Like, I don't know. How old are you when you're in sixth grade? Whatever. When you're in sixth grade, all the way up until your twelfth grade. So that's like six years of hiding it and holding it in. And I know that I like girls. And I am very convinced that I will not be with a guy. But I'm not saying that I'm not because I'm not, I don't know. I just like who I like, and if they're awesome, then yay, but if they're not, then no. Anyway, back to the story, after, yeah, my mom told me that she was convinced that this was a phase, and after about a week, my mom was convincing me to tell my dad, so I told my dad, and my dad was like convinced that I'm also in a phase, and he still thinks I'm in a phase, I think. And it's been about three years that I've told him. Anyway, um, my mom now knows that this is not a phase. She's seen how I was with my girlfriend at that time. And she, she knew that I like girls because she never seen me with or like a guy like how I liked my girlfriend at the time. And... As of right now, my mom is very supportive, and what made this even more weird is my sister also came out, like, maybe three months after I did. So, my mom <laughs> has two daughters who are gay, <laughs> but I think the fact that I came out, it helped my sister want to come out, and that made me happy, because it made it me feel like I helped her feel more comfortable in her skin so yeah well after I came out to my parents and my sister though I have two older brothers but I didn't like tell them tell them until like later because we don't really talk and they're okay with it and they don't really care about it but the rest of my family, they all didn't figure out until I brought my girlfriend around them. Like, to me, as long as my mom, my sister, doesn't care about it, then I'm fine with it. Because they're the only people that matter to me. What I'm trying to say is, when you want to come out, focus on telling the people who you care about the most. For me, it was my mom and my sister, and those were the only two people that I really cared about telling. Um, but for you, it could be your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your uncle, your auntie, just whoever you keep close to your heart, focus on telling them first. And I'm not saying you need to do it now. And I'm not saying you need to do it like next week. Do it on your own time because it takes a lot of courage to go and tell people. And what usually helps is you... If you have a close friend, tell them, and if they're not comfortable with it, then they're not your real friend. Um, if you don't have a friend near you who would be very supportive of you, I'm here. Like, I'll put my links in the description up for my Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. And if you guys want to talk about anything, or you guys need any help about anything, then I'm here. I'm here for you. And don't forget that because I really like helping people. It's my thing. <laughs> um, that's my coming out story. And if you guys want to share your guys coming out story with me, then please leave a comment or go on my Tumblr or something. Just talk to me. I'm not that hard to talk to. Sorry for talking really soft. My roommates are having dinner outside and I don't want to be talking too loud. So yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I'm at college. So I have nothing to do. So yeah.
I hope you guys had a very good day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.